let's look at this set. In a football league, six different teams, A, B, C, D, E, and F participated. Each team played each other, every other team exactly once. So there are six, eight, two, 15 matches in total. The table given below provides partial information about the goals conceded by different teams against each of the other teams. So right now we don't know whether A scored two goals against B or whether B scored two goals against A. That is not known. Hopefully that gets cleared up later on. In any match, the teams that conceded more goals lost the games, whereas the teams conceded, whereas if the goals conceded by both the teams were same, then the match ends in a draw. So out of these 15 matches, there is also a possibility of a draw. Okay. Instructions for reading the table. For the match between C and E, the goals conceded by C would be a, the entry in the row C and column E. So C versus E, D. So D goals were conceded by C in the match against E. So this is the number of goals conceded by C. Okay. Whereas the goals conceded by E would be the entry in row E, column C. So E has conceded one goal against C. E has conceded one goal against C. Okay. The following bar graph provides the information about the number of matches won by the four of the six teams. So D has won three matches. C has won one match. B has won two matches. A has won three matches. Given that there were 15 matches in total and there were 10 matches for which the outcomes are known and perhaps more depending upon what score lines we are able to identify here. We should work our way forwards. First, let's write down all matches. A versus B, A versus C, A versus D, A versus E, A versus F. These five matches for A. Now B versus C, B versus D, B versus E, B versus F. Then C versus D, C versus E, C versus F, D versus E, D versus F, and E versus F. These are the 15 matches that are taken. Now A conceded two goals against B and scored three goals. So I can say A won this match. And A conceded one goal against C, scored two goals. So two versus one. So A won this match. A versus D. A conceded two goals and scored one goal. So D won one match here. A against E conceded zero goals, scored two goals. So this is known. And finally, A versus F. A conceded two goals, scored zero goals. So one outcome. Now this match is special for us. This match is special for us because we had win count. We had win share totals for A, B, C and D. For E and F, we did not. For F, I know one match it won. So one I already have here. Not that this is the final number. It can potentially be added to. But one I already have here. Okay, next B versus C. B versus C. B conceded two against C and scored A. So the outcome here is A2. Now I don't know if this is a win or a loss. I'll worry about it later. B versus D. Conceded zero, scored zero. So this is a drawn match. B versus D was a drawn match. Okay, B versus E. B conceded 1 and scored 0. So 0, 1. E won this match. And B scored C against, oh, sorry, B conceded C against F and scored 1. So 1, C. Again, we don't know who won this match, who lost this match. I will worry about this later. Now about B, we knew, we knew that B had to win two matches. B had to win two matches. Because B had to win two matches. Against A it lost. Against B we don't know. Against D it drew. Against E it's lost. It lost. So there are only two matches that B can win. The matches where B is winning is against C and against F. 
Now, how many goals it scored against C, we don't know. All we know is A has to be greater than 2. But here, B versus F match, B versus F match, I know if B has only scored 1 and has won this match, it would mean C is equal to 0. This is the only way this is possible. Okay, let's look at the outcomes for C versus D matches now. C conceded 1 against D and scored 0. So, 0, 1. D has won this match. C versus E has conceded D has scored 1. So, 1, D. There is A, there is C. Where is B here? Which B comes later in the matches of D versus E. Okay. So, C versus E conceded D scored 1. Okay. Last is conceded 2 scored 2. 2. So, this is the second drawn match. We know this. This is the second drawn match. This is guaranteed. If this is guaranteed, if this is guaranteed. Now let's look at outcomes of all matches of C. C is supposed to win one match. C is supposed to win one match. <coughs> it lost to A. It lost to B. It lost to D. It drew against F. <coughs> the only match that C can win has to be against C E. So C is winning against E. And if C is winning against E, despite scoring only one goal, it means D is also equal to 0. This is also known. Absolutely fantastic. Now, there are only three matches left. D versus E onwards, we have to start. D conceded two goals against E and scored B goals. So, B, 2. Against F, conceded three goals, scored three goals. So, 3, 3. This match is a draw. And the last match left is E conceded three goals, F, and E conceded three goals and scored one goal. So, 1 and 3. This is a win for F. This is also amazing because now I have another guaranteed victory for F. So, now I have two drawn matches. I have two wins for F. I have three wins for A. I have two wins for B. I have three wins, uh, one win for C and three wins for D. So, altogether, three, three and how many? Oh, there is one guaranteed win for E also here, no? Against B, E had a guaranteed win. E had a guaranteed win. We have one win for E also here. Now see this. Now see this. So far, we have done it for everyone. D is supposed to have three wins. So D is winning against A. D is drawing against B. D is winning against C. D is drawing against F. The only outcome. See, five matches that D is supposed to have. Five matches that D is supposed to have. It won against A. It drew against B. So one win, one draw. It won against C. It drew against F. One win, one draw. So out of the five matches, we know there are two wins and two draws that are recorded so far, which means the fifth match for D, the fifth match for D has to be a win because we know it had three wins. So D is winning here, which tells me B has to be greater than 2. B, the variable B, small b, has to be greater than 2. So at this time, for ease of recording, we can also go ahead and record this. Um, team name. Played. Wins. Draws. Losses. Goals for. And goals against. We can go ahead and record this. We can go ahead and record this for all the teams. We have A, we have B, we have C, we have D, we have E, we have F. F A has three wins, two losses. So five played, three wins, two losses, zero draws. How many goals were scored by A? Three, two, one, two. Eight goals were scored. And how many goals were considered? Two, two, one. Seven goals were conceded by A. This is for A, it is easy to do because all five matches of A are recorded here. How about B? It lost one match here. So it won two matches. It played five. It won two matches. It had one drawn match. 
So it lost two matches. The two matches it lost to were with E and A. So two losses. How many goals did B score? Two plus A plus one. So three plus A goals it scored. How many goals did it concede? Three plus two plus one. Three plus two plus one. Six, six plus C. Or C was already equal to zero. So six. Six. This is known. This is guaranteed. Okay. How about C? Played five matches, won one match. How many matches did C draw? C had one draw against F. One draw against F. So it lost three matches. How many goals did it score? One against A, two against B. So three goals here. And then zero, one, and two. 1 here, 2 here, 0, 1 and 2. So, 6 goals it scored. How many goals did it concede? 2 against A. A against uh, A against B. And then 1, D and 2. D is 0. So, 1 and 2. 3 here. 3 plus A plus 2. So, 5 plus A. 5 plus A. Okay. Wonderful. Now let's look at D. Played 5, 1, 3 and drawn 2. Against D it drew. Against F it drew. So 2 draws. Losses. Therefore will be 0. How many goals did D score? 2 here. 0 here. 1 here. So 3 so far. 3 plus 3 plus B. So 6 plus B goals it scored. And B, we don't know. So 6 plus B has to be there. Against D, how many goals were scored? 1 here, 0 here, 0 here. So 1 so far, 2 and 3. 6 goals were scored against D. 6 goals were scored against D. Let's look at E. Played 5. It won one match. Was there a draw involving E? No, there were no draws involving E. So, 0 draws and 4 losses. How many goals were scored against E? Oh, sorry. Goals scored by E. 0 here. 0 here. 1 here. D. So, 0 here. 0, 1, 0. 1 so far. 2, 3 so far. And 4. Okay. So, 4 goals were scored by E. And how many were conceded by E? 2 were scored by A, 0 was scored by B, 1 was scored by C, so 3 so far, B, so 3 plus B, and 3, so 6 plus B. Okay, and finally, for F we have to do, played 5, it had 2 wins, it had 2 draws, so it had only 1 loss, the 1 loss was against A, against B, it lost. Sorry. Sorry. Against A, it won. Against B, it's, it lost. Against C, it drew. Against D, it drew. Against F, it won. Okay. Now, goals for F. 2 here. 2 here. 0 here. 2 here. So, 4. Plus 3. Plus 3. So, 10 goals were scored by F. And how many goals did it concede? Let's go ahead. 0 here. 1 here. 0 and 1 is 1. 2 here. So, 3. Plus 3 is 6. Plus 1 is 7. So, 7 here. Okay. Now, why I have gone ahead and recorded all of this is I wanted to check if my goals for and goals against column match. If my goals for and goals against column match, that is the best indication. That is the best indication that whatever working we have done so far in terms of how many goals were scored and how many goals were not scored, the, uh, our working is accurate. This is an internal check that helps us identify if the working done so far is accurate or not. So let's see this here. 8 plus 3 plus 6, 17. 17 plus 20 is 37 plus A plus B 
here we have 7, 6, 6, 19, 19 plus 18. So 37 plus A plus B. So this gives me more confidence. The working so far is correct. Another way we can check it is if the win column and the loss column add up to, to the same number. So 2, 1, 3, 3 plus 3 plus 3. We have how many? Uh, 3 plus 3 plus 6. So 12 wins. How many losses do we have? 4 plus 4 plus 4. So 12 losses. So this is also awesome. Additionally, wins plus draw column by 2 should be equal to total number of matches. Draw column is adding up to 6. So that is wonderful. That is also happening. So at this time, I am extremely confident about the data that has been processed so far. How many matches did E win? E won a total of one match. If A is equal to D plus 4, if A is equal to D plus 4, then how many goals were scored against C in all the matches combined? Now we know D is equal to 0. It would mean, the question is telling us A is equal to 4. A had to be greater than 2, A is equal to 4, so that is fine. So how many goals were scored against C? Goals scored against C were 5 plus A. So 5 plus 4, 9 goals were scored against C in all matches. In how many matches only one team scored? So we have to look at those matches in only one team scored. Not the first match, not the second match, not the third match, the fourth match, yes. So I'll keep a count this way. Fourth match, fifth match, not the sixth match, not the seventh match. Because the, the question is asking only one team scored, neither of them are scored. B versus E, third match. B versus F, fourth match. C versus D, fifth match. C versus E, sixth match. Not the not the C versus F, not D versus E, not D versus F, not E versus F. So there are six matches in total in which only one team scored. Those six matches, if you have to identify, I'll simply... Uh, I'll simply mark them out also. This one, this one, uh, this one, this one, this one, and this one. These are the six matches in which only one team scored. Now the last question. What is the ratio of total number of matches won by D, E, and F to the total number of matches lost by them? D, E, and F, the total number of matches won by them is 6. And D, E, and F, the total number of matches lost by them is 5. So 6 by 5 or the correct answer here has to be option B. And that is the entirety of this set. This is a wonderful uh, league stage tournament uh, question in which all the goal difference, goals for, goals against, everything is getting tested. You have to list down every individual match and see the implication there. So hopefully you learned something. Mm -hmm.